Hey guys, welcome to my channel and hello to all my new subscribers. Hi. And if you're new to my channel, please, please, please hit the subscribe button right below. Now, today what we're going to be talking about is moisture and the importance of it and why we should take it so seriously. The main thing I tell my clients is that no matter what kind of hair you have, whether it's extremely coarse or extremely fine, if it's natural, you need moisture. It's a part of what you got going on. It has to be. Water is one of the key elements. But the thing is, after you use the water, you have to have another element in there to compound that because water by itself does not work. It actually counteracts it. It actually, if you only are putting water on there without another product, you're actually going to be drying it out instead of moisturizing. And the thing about it is a lot of people, when their hair gets dry, dirty, or matted and really just needs to be fed, they end up just going in and doing a whole wash process, which the shampoo is now extra drying it the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Most of my clients, when they come to me, we have a full-blown consultation and I listen to their lifestyle and then I put two and two together as to what I can do and what she can do at home to really get this thing going. Because the thing about it is, I tell them all the time, I won't work behind a chair if you don't work at home. So what I encourage all my girls to do is always, always, always moisturize and then seal at home as much as possible. My products are straight and strict to the point there is. I don't believe that natural hair is a difficult thing. I really believe simplicity is key. So like my protein treatment is your old school back in the day protein. And it's straight up like that. Of course, I put my own spin on it. Um, but, and I added different elements in there that I know for a fact help grow hair on top of the old school protein. You know what I mean? So it's just straight mayonnaise and different other different natural elements that help the hair grow, protect the hair. So that way when it grows to certain lengths, we can make sure that we retain it. Um, that's the main thing and that's the main thing that my clients are looking for is retention. A lot of times I run into people and their problem is not growing it because of course they're alive, but the problem is that they don't know how to keep it. People just have to understand the basic concepts of the hair. And once you know what kind of texture you have, what kind of fullness you have, what you can and cannot do to your hair because sometimes what I run into too is that people think they can do what the next girl can do and quite frankly her hair is stronger than yours and it's just period um I try to be as frank and as honest with my clients as possible because honesty is how you get to the results okay. now typically depending on your dry level and I say that because I have girls that come in that you know, they know how to do their own hair and they are trying at least to maintain it until they get to me or get to somebody that can help them. Um, but then I have girls that don't know what the fuck they got going on. They like, girl, I don't do hair, so count me out for that. And that's fine. And what I tell them is that all I'm looking for is you to do the minimum. And the minimum for me is moisturizing and oiling and make sure you protein in at least twice in six weeks. You know what I'm saying? Just off the strength that we're trying to build up hair that needs to retain. So when it gets to these longer lengths, if you beat it up while it's short, you're not going to be able to keep it when it gets long. You got to think about this shit. This hair shit is really, it's not too much to it, but it really is, all it is is just thought process. Connect what you got going on in here with your head. Take care of your hair like you're taking care of your body. You're getting healthy. Make sure your hair is healthy. Make sure you're drinking water. Make sure your diet is right. Yeah, diet too. Y'all in my inbox talking about y'all want long hair, but y'all eat fast food and don't take care of yourself. So no, your hair is not going to grow. And yes, it is going to be dry if you don't drink water. Because what I run into a lot is that they say, oh yeah, I moisturize my hair. I oil it all the time. Wrong. Wrong. That's not it. So, let me tell you how. You must have a product that has a water element in it, okay? Because what happens is water does not, I, I'm sorry, 
oil does not moisturize water. And if you think about the concept in your head, oil and water don't even mix. You're going to get a product that has a water element in it. And this is also why I stress that you cannot use this when you're about to um, press your hair out or do anything where you want a flowy type of look because this has oil in it. It has other things in it that could weigh down your silk press. So for the girls that wear their hair straight, what I tell you is leading up to the days of you about to get your hair done, you need to be feeding your strands. And what I mean by that is putting this in the palm of your hand, going down your strands and up into the root, platting it down and making sure that um, you are sealing on top with oil and covering your hair up. Now, I'm not saying that I got all the answers, but I'm saying this is what me and my clients do. Me and my clients, we keep it really simple, really cute, and hair be long, so. It ain't really much for us to say, so. Yeah. And another thing, parents, children's hair can take this. You know what I'm saying? All they need is a little bit of moisture and a little bit of oil and watch their hair sprout and grow. All they're doing is growing. They don't have no bills, no stress. They don't have nothing to worry about but growing. So get this product. Make sure you get the oils to seal on top because they go together. And I oftentimes tell people, everybody always asks like, Kai, what product should I get? I tell them the whole line because the whole line is built to rebuild your hair. So you want a protein when you wash, which is the largest jar. And you want to make sure that you use the follicle and strand moisturizer and the oil on a regular. What you'll start noticing is that as you start using the follicle and strand moisturizer on a regular, it will your hair will become softer and softer and it'll start retaining the moisture more and more. You get what I'm saying? So sleep with something on your head. Make sure you moisturize with the follicle and strand moisturizer and get your oil. And then watch you be successful, people. I promise my spiel on why you should moisturize and the importance of it. So I hope, you know, this helps you out. I'm, I'm going to try to keep the videos coming. I'm going to have a whole bunch of topics about natural hair and what we got to deal with, okay? Because somebody got to speak up. And it, it, it's going to be me because somebody has to say something. Stylists, let's go. We got to get us back. Natural hair, period.